Welcome back to the Solutions Melbourne. In this video, we will solve the problem F2-1 from RC Hebalem Engineering Statics Flight Edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the magnitude of the resultant force acting on the screw I and its direction measured clockwise from the x axis. To solve this problem, we will use the parallelogram law of vector addition. For that, we have to form a parallelogram from the given force vectors. So, let's draw the projection of 2 kN force. Similarly, we have a projection of 6 kN force. Let me mention it. This is 6 kN. This is 2 kN. This is also 2 kN. And this is also 6 kN. Now, resultant is drawn from the tail of the two vectors to the opposite end. This is FR. Let's call this angle alpha. This is also alpha. Let's call this angle beta. Now alpha would be found for alpha. We have 60 plus 45 plus alpha is equals to 180 degrees because the three angles are forming the straight angle on the x axis. So from here alpha is equals to 75 degrees. Now we know that for an quadrilateral the sum of the interior angles is equals to 360 degrees. From here beta is equals to 360 degrees minus 2 times of 75 degrees divided by 2. From here, beta is equals to 105 degrees. Now, for FR, we could apply the cosine law. For FR, we have square root of 6 square plus 2 square minus 2 times of 6 into 2 cos 105 degrees. Cos opposite to FR is angle beta. So from here we have FR is equals to 6.8 kN. Now this is our first answer. Now we have to find the direction of the resultant force measured clockwise from the positive x-axis which means we have to find this angle. Clockwise. Let's call this angle pi. Now let us consider that this angle right here is theta. So for pi, pi is equals to theta plus 45 degrees. So for theta, let us consider a triangle. This is O, this is A, and this is B. Consider triangle A, O, and B. So we could apply the sine law in this triangle. 
so we have sin theta over 6 is equals to sin beta over fr now fr is 6.8 kN and beta is 105 degrees so from here sin theta is equals to 6 into sin 105 divided by 6.8 so theta is equals to 58.46 degrees Now put this theta back in this expression right here. So from here we have pi is equals to theta which is 58.46 plus 45 degrees. So pi is equals to 103.46 degrees. Now this is our second answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question or any doubt about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.